Hi, this circuit has a digital square wave power supply and we're going to use it to explain PWM or pulse width modulation. So what is PWM? Well, the basic principle is that if you take a square wave power source as I have here and instead of it being on 50% of the time and off 50% of the time, so half on, half off alternating as a square wave, you change that relationship so it may only be on for say 20% of the time. Now remember as always you can try the circuits I show yourself with the links in the description. Now if I simulate the circuit you'll see we have our regular square wave alternating on and off for 50% of the time. However if I change the pulse width up to say 80% so it's on 80% of the time but off 20% you can see that the LED stays on for a large duration and then flashes off briefly. So the average voltage is, is higher because it's on more of the time. Then if I decrease that width, the pulse width, down to say 20%, the LED flashes on only briefly, but most of the time it's off. So you could say the average voltage has decreased because it's off more of the time. It's important to note that the simulation is running about 100 times slower than real life. So if you made the circuit in the real world, as you raise and lower the pulse width, what you'd perceive is the LED getting brighter and dimmer. This is because our eyes simply can't see the changes when they happen that fast. Let's look at a different application to see this more clearly. This circuit has a square wave voltage source similar to last time, but also has a motor in series. Now, as you can probably imagine, motors take a while to speed up or slow down. So if I simulate the circuit with a 50% pulse width, you can see it will make a signal that's on half the time and off half the time, and the motor will average out probably somewhere around 7 or 800 RPM or revolutions per minute. However, if I increase the pulse width or the amount of time the signal is high instead of low, up to say 80%, the RPM increases, so the motor is spinning faster. This is because the average voltage that the motor receives from the supply is higher. If I then say decrease it down to say 20%, you'll notice the RPM quickly drops, probably down to a few hundred or so. This is because the motor is off more of the time. Now coincidentally motor control is actually one of the most common uses of PWM circuits because through simply the use of a fixed DC source which can be switched on and off you can create a speed controller. Overall PWM is a really helpful technique for controlling outputs like LEDs and motors especially in robotics. Thanks for watching be sure to like the video if you liked it subscribe if you loved it and have a good day. See ya!